Hello everyone. Um, I know this video is long overdue. Um, I've been procrastinating on it, um, but I get so many questions about my bomb twist hair. Um, that's what you see here. Um, and I did search YouTube uh, prior to doing this video and I cannot find any videos on bomb twist hair. I normally find spring twist hair. I find kinky twist hair. I find Senegalese twist hair. I find two strands with just regular two strand twist for natural hair. But there it, I find newbie newbie twist, Havana twist, uh, jumbo Senegalese twist, all the twists you can think of, but no bomb twist hair. Hairstyles, I guess I should say. But, um, so I decided, you know, for the people that's asking, I know I was looking for myself, even though I do this style so much, I like to, you know, look on YouTube for other videos just to see, you know, some of the things that some of the other people are doing. I guess we can kind of, you know, feed off of each other, you know, keep the trends going and up to date in our hair. So I've done this hair whew, probably for the past three or four years. Um, this is like my go-to style. I love it. It's the perfect protective style. Um, but I normally would use Eon hair and I know a lot of you ladies know this company um, but for some reason bomb twist is no longer available in the Eon company so whenever you search it you're going to come up with Katie hair or Kadai at first people pronounce it like that however you want to say it um, but both ladies are the same here um, the hair is the same I have two strands of hair off to the side um, this would be the Katie hair and this will be the Eon hair. Both the same. This one's a number four. This one's a 1B. So, you know, and I have both companies in my head. And you can't tell the difference. So, they're both pretty good. If you can find Eon hair anywhere, which I haven't been able to. So, share with me if you have. Um, Katie hair is pretty good. And um, I will post the link of where I get mine from. Hatachi.com in the description bar below. Um, so, what are bomb twists? Bomb Twist is your two strand twist extension. Um, it's just, you know, a particular curl pattern or twist pattern that you will get as an end result when you twist with this hair. So I have micro bomb twist in my hair right now that I did install myself. These twists are about five weeks old, six weeks old. I don't know, but um, I'm enjoying them so I, I don't plan on taking them out anytime soon so you know you can get you know a good extension or, or wear for you know this hair I don't have a problem with it um, how do you install this hair like you normally would install any single plait or twist or you know I just part my hair off in a section I braid it down to about I think I'm braided to about right here and then um, just simply two strand twist you do not have to roll the hair and then twist it as if you would do like a kinky twist or a Senegalese twist um, you just you know two strand twist right over left or left over right you know it really doesn't matter you will you know get, achieve this look um, do I have to dip the ends no uh, no perm rods, no boil of water, none of that. Um, I didn't even clip the ends at the end. You know how some people, they normally twist all the way down to the end and then snip the ends. I didn't even do that. I felt like it gave me more of a natural look. And a lot of people assume that it's at my actual hair. So, you know. Um, how long does it last? Like I said, I, I've had this hair in for about six weeks. And I don't plan on taking it out for at least another two or three. So, you know, uh, can I shampoo them? Yes, I can. Um, but, you know, I don't go in there and just, you know, rough it all up. I usually take an applicator bottle and mix, you know, shampoo and water, shake it up, and then just get my roots and, you know, my scalp and massage myself in like this. And then I just, when I rinse it, I literally just let the water just kind of flow off of my head. Um, I don't really like rough up the braids and for the excess shampoo I just you know smooth it down like this and I let it air dry um, you know just out the way that it is I you know will wrap a towel around and just let it air dry um, can you crochet the hair yes I have crocheted this hair a couple times um, I enjoy it uh, I have a lot of fun with this hair uh, the only reason why I didn't crochet it this time is because I wanted it smaller, um, and since they are so small, I just did them individually. Um, but I do them bigger, and, you know, I, I crochet them on my own. 
Um, I do not cut my packs in half. Um, I leave them long. The hair is 31 inches long, so this is the hair, which is kind of, there you go. And I don't, I just fold it in half like this when I twist them. So I have done them big, um, where I use just this one curl or strand as one twist. I have done that, um, and I love it. I'll post pictures of it. Um, I have a lot of, I've done this hair in a million different ways, a million different sizes, a million different styles. Um, you know, I have a lot of fun with this hair. I love this hair. Um, and um, for this style that I have here, I separated this strand, one strand, about four times. So, um, and I still have two packs of hair in my head, and that's my phone. But I still have two packs of hair um, completely. And actually, it's a little more than two. Well, I have two packs of the uh, 1B and about just six of these the number four so just to give me some brown it's not throughout my whole head it's basically from ear to ear just in the front so they're randomly placed in if you can see them there's one just to give me you know a little bit of color um i style them in a million and one ways up down buns um i do the little pompadour in the front i uh, pull it all the way back um as you can see it's down today and you know it pretty much stays put i usually put a, a hairpin about right here and you can't tell however i will warn you you will lose a bobby pin in this hair in a heartbeat so you know be careful um this hair is bouncy smooth lightweight and it is synthetic so you know to get this long of a wear from synthetic hair that i have washed and conditioned about three times now um and it still looks good so um you know, I highly recommend to get you some either Eon or Katie bomb with hair. Okay. Anyway, that concludes this video. Um, stay tuned for more. I'll post some pictures at the end of some thicker styles that I've done with um, some thicker twists that I've done with this hair as well as um, some close-ups of, you know, how I um, installed the hair. I don't have a tutorial, but the same way you would do um, spring twist, that's the same way you would install these twists. You know, it's just a different texture of hair. Um, and it does not come on a weft. A lot of people ask me that. It's not on a weft. It's literally packaged like this. It has the little foil thing around holding it together, and it comes in a pack like this. So, that's about it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. My phone is ringing. <laughs> so I have to go. Thank you. Bye.